There's a book called Queer Jews, and I have an article in there called um, Kol Sasan Vakol Simcha Kol Kala Vakol Kala, which is about my uh, personal journey around um, uh, same-sex marriage, and that uh, I think I was a bit of a radical, and so for me, um, typical uh, marriage as it existed in um, history, I felt was, uh, you know, basically uh, a legalization of women as chattel. And so I don't think I was, you know, I was a child of the 60s, and so I don't believe I really understood the value of marriage until I started to do same-sex marriages. I think I, d I officiated my first one well before I was a rabbi. I believe it was like 1978. And uh, um, I, I, it changed me in that it's, it felt like sitting at lunch counters during the civil rights movement, that it was a way of standing up to a very oppressive system. So um, I think gay marriages really redeemed you know, the idea of marriage for me, and I saw things that I hadn't seen earlier about the power of love to heal people. Um, but, I, you know, I think they're all great. Uh, bringing a child into the covenant, uh, helping somebody choose to be Jewish and affirm their Jewish identity through a Beit Din and immersion. And, uh, you know, God forbid, sad as it is, um, performing, a, you know, officiating at a funeral when I can be helpful to people who are experiencing really painful loss. That's fulfilling as a rabbi. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but um, I, I was the rabbi of uh, two gay synagogues during much of the AIDS crisis, one synagogue in Orange County and then in San Francisco. And I did a lot of funerals, and I performed a lot of funerals for a lot of pretty young people. Uh, and it, was, uh, it took a lot out of me. It was painful, but I can't imagine where, what would have happened to those people if they hadn't had their congregations to look after them in there as, as they were ill and dying and then to hold and, and care for and cherish their survivors. So that, that was, um, again, I can't say favorite, but extraordinarily meaningful.